We're going to show the steps involved with the removal and replacement of an Aerostar main landing gear and nose gear that's been overhauled by Marsh Brothers Aviation. The gear has been stripped, NDT inspected, and all factory bushings have been removed. New AeroTough grease-free bushings have been fitted along with Thorflex seals and wipers, replacing the OEM O-rings. These photos were taken by Jimmy Mullen at his Aerostar maintenance shop in LaBelle, Florida. Here we see the nose gear has been dismounted. Gear door linkages have been disconnected, as well as all hydraulic lines and actuator connections. Both right and left main gear legs have been dropped in this photo. Wheels and brakes have been disconnected and the wheel well area cleaned up and inspected for cracks and other damage. Both rubber bumpers have been removed and replaced with Thorflex bumpers using new stainless hardware. In this view, we have the replacement gear leg on the right and the removed core leg on the left. The drag brace is behind the main gear leg. The removed nose gear looks no better or worse than most. It's dirty and that's been caused by displaced grease. The grease attracts dirt. The struts have all been deserviced prior to removal. All three gear legs will be sent to Marsh Brothers Aviation as core replacements for the overhauled legs. The nose gear trunnion bushings are pulled using two sockets and a carriage bolt with washers and nuts. You'll see another way of doing it using a snap-on puller. Here's the other side of the bulkhead below the avionics bay. This is the ideal time to inspect for cracks in the hat sections and surrounding structure. The removed bushing is in the center with puller sockets on both sides. The new AeroTough grease-free bushing is being pulled into position in the trunnion plate with the same rig. Notice that the Zerk grease fitting has been removed and replaced with the stainless steel tapered plug. In this view, the trunnion pins have been fitted and the new gear leg from Marsh Brothers installed. Notice the blue band of AeroTough in the middle above the steering collar. This is a favorite point for grease starvation and an important reason for fitting AeroTough. In this shot, Jimmy's using the new snap-on puller. Two legs grab the back of the bushing while the U-shaped housing bears up against the trunnion plate. You can see the Zerk fittings still in place and the hole in the bushing it connects with. Getting access to the back side of the main gear trunnion plates is not easily done, so here Jimmy's using a threaded rod to push both arrow top bushings into position. The nuts jammed in the middle are used to prevent the rod from turning. The trunnion main gear bush is seated with the flange containing the trunnion plate surface. Up in the nose gear bay, the inboard trunnion bushing has been fitted to the hat section structure. On the opposite side, the other trunnion bushing has been pressed home. The left main gear has been now fitted to the airframe and the drag brace fitted. These brake anchor blocks have been painted and the AeroTough bushings have been pressed into the left block. Jim used two pieces of plywood and a vise to insert these bushings. Fitted to the gear leg, these bushings needed reaming in order to provide a sliding fit for the brake anchor pins. While the OEM steel bushings have had the ID relieved for about half the length, presumably due to problems with the pins hanging up, we've decided to stay with the full bush length to add more stability to the anchor pins. In this view, the gear leg on the left side has been fitted Brakes connected, bled, and the wheel fitted. The brake point for the main gear drag brace is very highly loaded, and Marsh Brothers Aviation decided to increase the length of the AeroTough bushings for them to safely carry the bending forces as the gear tends to bend backwards during braking. Just outboard of the drag brace, you'll notice the MBA blue upper bumper. The OEM rubber bumpers are usually damaged after several hundred cycles. The Marsh Brothers bumpers are designed to last for the life of the airframe. The nose gear has been serviced and all hydraulic lines connected. Inside the nose gear is Marsh Brothers new floating piston with its Thor seals replacing the O-ring seal. The piston wiper has also been replaced with a Marsh Brothers Thor wiper. No joint on the nose gear except the steering actuator, rod, and bush will require greasing. 
A very nice job on the nose gear. The scissors bolt is soon to be replaced with a pilot removable T-handle pin to allow for torque link bushing inspection. It might also occasionally be removed to preclude towing damage. Marsh Brothers' next Aerostar offering will be grease-free flap rollers, allowing the flap tracks to stay free of grease. It took Jimmy about a week to fit everything, and that included a delay in having to exchange some parts on one gear leg that we fitted incorrectly. Sitting on the ramp, ready to take the first flight, November 601 Delta Juliet seems happy on her new legs, and she just wants to go flying. 